Hey guys, it's me, Jen, and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't said that phrase in what feels like a year, but really it's only been three months since my last video that I've posted on YouTube. If you haven't heard already, Lucas and I are married and now we're moving? I'm sorry for the lack of content, but I'm also not sorry. Lucas and I have spent this summer constantly pivoting to what 2020 has given us. It's been taking a while to adjust to everything going on in the world. I'm sure everyone can relate that 2020 has been a roller coaster ride. And trust me when I say that Lucas and I have been adjusting to a lot of life changes these days <laughs> from the deployment to wedding planning to the wedding itself and now packing and moving. So you probably get the idea that we've been really busy this summer. So so I promise I will catch you all up on all the things once we're settled in our new home at the end of this week. I'm talking to you now from the parking lot of a Starbucks in Spokane, Washington with a car completely packed. I wanted to start the vlog last night or even earlier this morning, but I would be lying to you if I said that it wasn't emotional leaving this morning. So now that it's five hours into our actual trip, I felt like now the tears have been kind of pushed aside and we're ready to start vlogging the experience. So let me give you some context real quick. This summer, Lucas received military orders for a new change of station. So now we're on our way to our new home for the unforeseeable future, Boston, Massachusetts. So yes, we are moving from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. And yes, we are driving. Today is day one of our cross country road trip. This is the first time Lucas or I have ever done this long of a road trip before. It is going to take us a total of six days to get to Boston from Seattle. I believe we're gonna be going through 12 different states, which is about a total of just over 3,000 miles. Yeah. Ideally, we're gonna be stopping at three different national parks and maybe see some loved ones along the way, but it's really gonna depend on how we're feeling on the day-to-day -day basis. I'm not sure what this vlog is going to end up being, by the end of this week but i know for sure that i'm going to kick myself later if i don't document the experience and we were told by many many of our loved ones that they want to see our road trip adventure so here it is lucas just got back with my coffee say hi Hi. So yeah, now we have our coffee and next stop is going to be Montana. We'll be driving through the mountains and we'll see you at the hotel. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We made it to Montana, so of course we had to get the Starbucks Montana mug. We're about two hours from our hotel, so we're just gonna snack on something until we turn in for the night. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. We just made it to West. Yellowstone. It's our first hotel of the trip. Day one for the books. It is 9 30 p.m. I'm exhausted, so I'll have to check in with you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is day two of our cross country road trip to Boston. I didn't do a great job checking in last night. I was so tired when we got to the hotel, but I wanted to take a minute this morning to catch you up on what happened yesterday and what the plan is for today. If you didn't know, this is Sherbert's first multi-day road trip. We've taken him on a six hour road trip before. We were definitely nervous to see how he does on a road trip that's more than six hours. And so far, so good. He's eating, he's drinking, and he even used the litter box 
last night at the hotel, so that's a really, really great sign. So far, this is my first experience in Montana, and I'm loving it. It's kind of what I pictured with the mountains and the green trees. We're gonna spend a majority of the day in Montana. There's a little bit of Wyoming when we're in Yellowstone, and then there's a little bit of North Dakota, but we are pretty much crossing the entire state of Montana today, which brings me to today's agenda. So we are stopping by Yellowstone National Park. It's my first time coming to Yellowstone. Lucas is second time going, and we don't have a lot of time here today. We have about half a day, but we can't really leave the car for very long because we do have Sherbert with us. We're just gonna try and see what we can see from overlooks and maybe try and see some wildlife. Now that you're all caught up, Yellowstone, here we come. to Artist Point. It's about an hour or so from the Old Faithful Visitor Center. Super worth it. I think it's my highlight of the trip so far. Now we're gonna go try and look for some bison before we get back on the road to Boston. Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Good morning from North Dakota. It is day three of our cross-country road trip to Boston. We have been on the road for quite some time now. I feel like it's truly a road trip because the hours are getting longer and the land is getting flatter and it is also getting hotter actually. Now that we're out of the Montana mountains, the weather has definitely warmed up. We are on the road again this morning. I apologize, I did not check in last night again. We've just been having some late nights rolling in and so as soon as we get to the hotel, I have to check my work laptop because I am working while we're on this road trip. I'm checking emails and everything in the evening and the morning. So once I got to the hotel, I worked a little bit and then I just crashed. I was so exhausted. Yeah. I just wanted to check in and catch you guys up. We entered through Yellowstone on the west side of the park and got to see Old Faithful. We didn't get to see it spew out like its full extent, but we got to have the experience, which was awesome. And then after Old Faithful, we went over to the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, which was my like number one thing that I wanted to see in Yellowstone. And it was great. We took a quick pic. We saw the waterfall. It was amazing. And then after that, we went to Hayden Valley to go see some bison. And we got to see a total of four bison over at the Hayden Valley and even on the way out of the park we saw like a whole family of bison oh there's a bike but yeah so then we saw a whole family of bison so we definitely got our fix of seeing some wildlife in Yellowstone and that was really really exciting we drove all through Montana yesterday like the entire state and we arrived in North Dakota late last night we stayed in Dickinson North Dakota Lucas and I have been downloading a ton of podcasts Crime Junkie we are binging it like hardcore like we have not even been listening to any music yesterday it was all just Crime Junkie so I highly recommend and listening to podcasts on road trips. It sparks some interesting conversations for Lucas and I. It's just entertaining, I guess, and it makes the days feel a little bit shorter when you're driving. And for today's agenda, we're gonna go over to the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, check out the visitor center, go ahead and get my stamp, and then I think we're gonna go check out Teddy Roosevelt's cabin. We don't have a lot of time there. We're just gonna kind of quick in and out situation because we have four hours to drive to Fargo. We're hoping to see Lucas's grandpa. I should probably say our grandpa now, but yeah, we're hoping to see Grandpa Gordy in Fargo, and then we have an another five hours to get to Minnesota. I will check in again as soon as possible, but for now, we're gonna go ahead over to Theodore Roosevelt National Park.
Good morning, it is day four of our cross country road trip to Boston. We are more than halfway across the country, which is very exciting. Lucas and I had a moment where we were like, yes, halfway done. With that said, we are still having a lot of fun on our trip. We're making a lot of different stops and getting to try different things in each city. It's actually pretty cool because yesterday we went from farm country, total rural towns, and then we ended up staying in downtown Minneapolis, right in the heart of the business district, which is so funny to me. We went from farm to city really quick. So this morning we had a bit of change of plans. And so we decided to just kind of enjoy Minneapolis this morning. We went to go get some caribou coffee because that's what Minnesota is known for I feel like we got the pumpkin white mocha and we ended up getting two so I got a hot one this morning and then we also picked up iced versions for the road we went for a short walk just because we've just been in the car for hours really so we went over to the stone arch bridge took a couple pictures kind of walked around with our coffees and then we ended up getting back on the road to get some gas and now we're en route to Chicago we don't have a lot of stops planned in Wisconsin our destination really is Chicago our original plan was was that we were gonna go to the, I might say it wrong, the New Glarus. New Glarus Brewing Company. It's apparently this beer called Spotted Cow that Lucas's best man Ray raves about. Uh, it's apparently like his favorite beer ever. And so we wanted to check it out at the brewery, but it's closed I'm pretty sure for the rest of the summer. For now, we're just gonna go find a supermarket or maybe even a gas station. I'm not really sure where you can find Spotted Cow beer, but we're gonna go ahead and look for some while we're driving through Wisconsin. And tonight for dinner, we are so excited to try Chicago deep dish pizza. So yeah, that's pretty much all I needed to catch you guys up on. We're going to be Chicago in about six hours, so I will check in with you guys when we get there. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel that our love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. It is officially day five of our cross-country road trip to Boston from Seattle. Lucas and I are starting to get motion sickness in the car now, so I think we're gonna try and get some Dremamine. This is definitely the longest road trip I've ever done, ever. I grew up road tripping, so like one, two days, three days is like nothing, but I think once we hit yesterday and today, Lucas and I were like, let's take our time a little bit more in the mornings at the hotel, and like we decided to go for walks in the morning instead of like getting in late to the hotel like 10 p.m. and then waking up at 7 getting back on the road so we've been trying to take our time a little bit more these past couple of days and I think it's working we are in Chicago Illinois and I'm so excited to be in Chicago I've heard nothing but great things I know it's supposedly supposed to be like really windy and cold but today it is beautiful I think it's like 75 degrees and it's like 9 a.m. so it's gonna be a good day and I have a few friends that are in the Chicago area and if we had more time we'd probably connect with them but this morning we're just gonna take it slow I think we're just gonna try and check out the bean or the cloud gate. I know it's nicknamed the bean, I believe. And then we're gonna pick up some Garrett popcorn, caramel corn and cheese, I believe. Lucas had some at the Chicago airport a couple years ago during a layover and he's just talked about it nonstop, so I gotta try it. So those are the two iconic Chicago things that we've chosen to do today before we head over to Ohio and then New York tonight. So tune in for if we're going to end up seeing the bean or not. I don't know if Millennium Park is going to be open or not because of COVID, but I guess we'll see. morning everyone it is officially day six of our cross-country road trip it is Saturday morning we are over in Buffalo New York we are about to make the seven hour drive and then we are finally 
home. You guys saw through various B-roll clips, I'm sure. We ended up going to downtown Chicago. We went to Millennium Park. We weren't sure if we were gonna be able to go and see the Cloud Gate or the Bean, as some call it, because there's a gate completely around Millennium Park because of COVID, I'm assuming. They're actually just regulating people entering the park, and so there were certain areas where you could go ahead and walk on through as long as you're wearing a mask. The other thing we were able to do was check out Garrett Popcorn. It really is as good as the hype says it is. After we left Chicago, we drove hours through Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania to get to New York. We tried to stop by, I think it's pronounced Cuyahoga Valley National Park, but the Boston Mill Visitor Center was closed because of COVID, so we weren't able to get our stamp. I'm just gonna have to request for a delayed stamp later. And then we had dinner actually at a corn dog stand over by a gas station. It ended up being the best corn dog that Lucas and I have like ever had. We're gonna go ahead and hit the road and complete the final stretch so then we can get home to Boston. A story that would never end Never thought I'd feel so alive Looking in your eyes I just wanna love you till the day I die Hey guys, checking in for the very last time during this video, Lucas and I just made it to Massachusetts. It took us about six days and 3,500 miles later, we have finally arrived to our new Boston home. I feel so grateful that we were able to make the road trip rather than just fly. We were able to see so many different places that we wouldn't have seen or experienced if we flew. So I'm super happy that we made that decision. We literally went from the mountains of Washington, Idaho, Montana, then we got to see like the farmlands and the flat plains over in North Dakota. We also got to see cities like Minneapolis and Chicago. It was literally an experience that I wouldn't trade for anything. I'm so happy that we drove instead of flying. It also made the experience just much more real. I think it made us like really think about how far away we really are moving from Washington. It also made us super grateful that there are planes and so that way if we ever want to go home it's literally just a plane ride away rather than another six day trip. This experience is definitely something that I can check off my bucket list. I've always wanted to do a cross-country road trip like this one. Are we gonna do it again? Probably not, but not because we didn't have a great time, but because we think it was really convenient to make this trip at this point in our lives when we don't have kids yet and we only have a cat, no dog. So if this cross-country road trip was ever gonna happen, now is the perfect time. It's funny because at the very beginning of this video, I was pretty sad, pretty bittersweet and heartbroken about leaving home just because I was born and raised in Washington. But now that we're here in Boston, I am so so excited to just start our lives here. I feel like I've been in such a limbo the past few weeks just because I knew we were moving soon. Even though life didn't go quite as we originally planned and we had originally thought that we'd be starting our lives as the Swansons in Washington, we are so, so grateful for this opportunity and I'm so excited to build our new home here in Boston. With that said, our next video is actually going to be a moving vlog. So that's gonna include a walkthrough of our empty apartment. It's gonna be like a quick little tour video of our new space before everything gets moved in. So excited to be able to share this experience with you guys through this format. Originally my YouTube videos were just made for a family that were out of state of Washington and now I feel like creating these videos is our way of engaging with our family that we've left behind in Washington now too. Thank you so much for watching our cross-country road trip video. I hope you're looking forward to our moving videos coming up next. So until then I'll talk to you guys soon.